I have now passed 18 months working as an apprentice aircraft mechanic. But is it really all that different than, you know, at 12 months? Yes and no. But there is something unique about that 18 month number you should probably know about. Hello and welcome to another edition of Grease Monkey Gab. Random thoughts of an aircraft mechanic from the commute. I am the Grease Monkey that that title and even my shirt refers to. It even kind of smell like grease a little. So I just completed 18 of the 30 months required to become an ANP, going the apprentice route. What's it like? Well, as I've said before, you try to learn something new every day, and you typically do. I feel like there's new tasks that I'm allowed to do that I wouldn't have been able to do when I started. Some new responsibilities. It's all about building all that up until you know, you're ready to take your A&P tests. And one of the advantages of working with much more experienced mechanics is learning their tips and tricks and hacks and making you a better mechanic overall, not even just airplanes. And since we're talking about the A&P tests, since my last update, we've pretty much narrowed down that I'll be doing the writtens and the practicals at Baker School in Tennessee. I know multiple people that have gone there. I've met some people recently who have and spoke highly of it, so sounds like we have a winner. All right, waiting on a school bus. We've got another apprentice that'll be going there in the summer. Maybe I can get him on here to talk about his experience. But really, what's so special about that number 18 months? Well, in the regs where it says for you to get your airframe and power plant, you know, you need the 30 months of experience as we've talked about before, which isn't really 30 months. It also states you can get either the airframe or power plant at 18 months of experience. Well, that's interesting, but do you really want to? I think it depends. Like if you're an engine guy and you know you're only gonna be doing engines and you just wanna take power plant, I, I don't know if going to work for like homing or something, you know, then maybe the P is all you need. Or if you wanna be a sheet metal guy, you wanna do restorations, all, all you're gonna be doing is airframe work. And you know this. Well, maybe all you need is the airframe. Now, when you go for either, you have to take your written test for that specific one, but you also have to take your general written test. And here's the kicker. If you do either one separately, you have to do the general for both. So it means if you get the A and then just later decide you want your P, you'd have to take your general twice. And I'm here to tell you, I've been studying for all three tests and I wouldn't want to take the general twice. That's for sure but it really depends on who you are and what you're doing. But if you want to be a more well-rounded mechanic, or especially if you want to get your IA, you're better off just slogging it out the full 30 months. So were you an apprentice and you got your A or P at 18 months? Got any questions about working as an apprentice and getting your A and P? Let me know down in the comments below.